Today, Woody Anderson Ford unveiled the all-new electric F-150 in front of an enthusiastic crowd. The first of its kind lightning enters the Tennessee Valley market after years of anticipation, said dealer Kathy Anderson. She also addressed concerns about a lack of hauling or towing ability. 10,000 in, in uh, payload, and then 300 miles, and then with an extension, you can get 320. While you can now test drive the car at the dealership, there isn't a full rollout because of supply chain delays. That all the manufacturers are working on. But at this point, I, I can't make a promise as, as if there's going to be 20 trucks on the ground tomorrow. But uh, we're working at that. And also working at uh, our products coming. And if they're missing a chip that's not essential, then we can go ahead and sell those trucks and then bring the customer back in. Or we have mobile service and we have pickup and delivery. Introducing more electric vehicles to the area could help lower Alabama's gas intake. Data compiled by the auto insurance firm Quote Wizard estimated that Alabama was the 10th most gas guzzling state based on gallons used last year per licensed driver. Meanwhile, the Yellowhammer state ranks 31st for total electric vehicle registration per the U.S. Department of Energy's latest data. Anderson says 200 people are on the waiting list and will be told by Ford Corporate when their truck is available to pick up. Test drives are available through next week. In Huntsville, Simon Williams, Fox 54 News.